Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800 799 SAFE, 800 799 7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800 950 NAMI. 800-950-6264 and for additional resources reach out to the national suicide hotline at 988 you can either text or call that number with that being said please remember to like subscribe and share um, so today i want to continue to talk about what's affecting your growth and how do you heal um, after being in a narcissistic relationship you know um, I talked about uh, the change, which is de death, and Tuesday, the depression that after you have left, after you have made that change, um, how not to sit in and then let it keep you down. And so today I want to talk about guilt. You know, um, whenever you leave a relationship or whenever someone leaves you that's in a relationship with you, you always try, you, you always see that guilt, you know, and you put it on yourself. If you're like me, you think about everything that you could have done to make this work. And uh, why didn't you just do this? And did you move too quickly? Um, you second guess your decision all the time and you feel guilty, you know. Um, so we all know that I suffered a loss. And so in thinking about the relationship with my sister, I always thought about what could I have done more? How could I have made things better for her? What should I have done? Did I do everything that I could in this relationship? You know, uh, what am I missing? What didn't I do? And so it's the same with a, uh, a relationship that's not good for you. You, when you do get out of it, you know, you realize that Maybe I should have did this. Maybe if I had did this on this day, the relationship would have gotten better or we would have been at a different place. But that's not the case, you know, and how this relates to the um, loss of the the challenge of losing someone or whatever. Um, it's the same, you know, There, I can't change uh, the way my sister uh, life was. I can't make things better. I couldn't have made things better for her. I couldn't have taken her and just did it the way that I saw fit because that wasn't in the cards for me or for her. God knew what was going to happen. God had his hands in this all along. So the same thing, you know, now I can sit in this guilt and I can blame myself and I can just never recover from it. And that's just like staying in a narcissistic relationship. You can decide to uh, be guilted back into staying or going back to it or never leaving and just sitting there and taking it, you know, uh, really being woe is me, you know, not understanding that you have the ability to move away from this, move away from this guilt, move away from a relationship like this. So I had to realize that um, I have the ability to stop blaming myself, you know? And like I said, you move out of a relationship that's no good for you, and you realize that this person um, is not helping you to grow, is not helping you. So you can't say, well, it wasn't so bad for me, but had I not said this, this person wouldn't have blown up and we wouldn't be here at the divorce table trying to separate access uh, to ourself and our children. We would still be in this relationship. And, and I want you to know you would still be in this relationship, still going downhill, still feeling like you're worthless. So give yourself a pat on the back and quickly move out of the guilt because you did everything that you were supposed to. God allowed you to endure what you did for so long. Now you're out of this. So pat yourself on the back and don't feel uh, guilty for any changes that you've made. So if you know someone that's going through this, please share this video. If it's you, watch it as many times as you need to. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.